team out of the University of Waterloo is creating electricity using discarded walnut shells and drops of water. Cheers. Cheers to the future energy. Something came in my mind so we can utilize this natural structure to harvest energy. What if I told you that the hard walnut shells we usually throw away could be turned into tiny generators, powering electronics with nothing but a drop of water? Sounds far-fetched, right? But here's the surprising part. In a new study from the University of Waterloo, researchers proved it's possible. They built a device, smaller than a coin, that produced over 600 millivolts of electricity straight from an untreated walnut shell. And when they treated the shell, performance more than doubled, hitting an output of 1.21 volts and a current density of over 300 microamps per square centimeter. That's enough power for just a handful of walnut shells connected together to run an ordinary LCD calculator. This isn't science fiction. It's not a futuristic idea trapped in a lab. It's real, it works, and almost nobody is talking about it. In this video, we're going to explore how something as ordinary as nut waste can generate electricity, how researchers squeeze surprising performance out of a simple shell, what this technology could mean for green energy, and the hard limitations it still faces. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll never look at a walnut the same way again. If you love new tech, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We live in a world where everything is becoming smaller, smarter, and connected. Sensors monitor our forests and wide oceans, wearables track our health, and tiny devices form the backbone of the Internet of Things. But powering these devices is still a massive problem. Batteries are heavy, toxic, and they eventually fail. Solar panels help, but they don't work everywhere. And what if you need to run a sensor deep in a pipeline, in the shade of a dense forest, or in an underground tunnel? You can't always rely on sunlight or replace batteries every few months. That's why scientists have been searching for alternative ways to power small electronics. One of the most fascinating approaches is called hydrovoltaics, the process of generating electricity from water itself, especially during evaporation. Imagine using nothing but moisture in the air or a few drops of rain to keep a sensor running indefinitely. That's the vision behind this walnut shell breakthrough. Here's how hydrovoltaics works. When water moves through a porous material, it carries ions with it. As those ions interact with the surfaces inside the material, they create a charge imbalance. Place electrodes at either end and that imbalance shows up as a voltage. In other words, Water flowing and evaporating through tiny channels can create real, measurable electricity. Scientists have been experimenting with this effect for years, using advanced nanomaterials like graphene and engineered hydrogels. These worked, but they were expensive, difficult to manufacture, and not environmentally friendly. That's why the Waterloo team looked at nature instead. And it turned out that nature had already built an almost perfect nanostructure for this kind of energy harvesting inside the hard shells of nuts. The researchers tested shells from four different nuts, almonds, hazelnuts, pecans, and walnuts. Under an electron microscope, these shells look like miniature sponges full of micro and nano-sized channels that evolved to transport water and nutrients while the nut was growing. All four had potential, but walnuts stood out. Their pores were more uniform, their internal channels were better connected, and they offered just the right balance of hydrophilic and hydrophobic surfaces to keep water flowing steadily. In untreated form, walnut shells produce more than 600 millivolts of output. That's already impressive for something most of us throw away. But when the shells were cleaned, polished, and chemically treated, the performance jumped. Suddenly, they weren't just producing a fraction of a volt, but well over 1 volt, 1.21 volts, with a maximum current density of 347 microamps per square centimeter and a power density close to 6 microwatts per square centimeter. For comparison, that's better performance than many of the inorganic and engineered hydrovoltaic devices built in labs with far more advanced materials. 
So how does a walnut shell actually turn water into electricity? It starts when a drop of water is absorbed into the porous structure of the shell. Capillary action pulls that water through micro and nano channels. Along the way, the water interacts with chemical groups on the shell walls that carry negative charges. Positive ions in the water are attracted to those surfaces, and that creates what scientists call an electrical double layer. As the water evaporates out of the shell, new water keeps moving in, dragging ions with it and maintaining a flow of charge. Electrodes capture that flow and turn it into usable electricity. Add chemical treatments, and the process gets even more powerful. Acid-treated shells develop additional nanochannels, exposing more reactive surfaces. Place these shells in an alkaline environment, and you also get tiny acid-based reactions that boost the voltage even further. The end result is a surprising synergy of physical evaporation, ion streaming, and chemistry, working together inside what looks like nothing more than a piece of waste. This discovery is exciting for several reasons. First, it turns agricultural waste into energy. Walnut shells are plentiful, cheap, and often discarded. Second, it's environmentally friendly. Unlike batteries, there are no toxic metals or harmful byproducts. Third, it's surprisingly durable. In lab tests, walnut shell generators maintained a stable output for more than a week without significant performance loss. And finally, it's incredibly versatile. It doesn't need sunlight. It doesn't need charging stations. It only needs a bit of water or even humidity in the air. That makes it perfect for niche applications. Imagine a wearable health monitor that powers itself from your sweat, a forest sensor that runs off rain and morning dew, or a pipeline leak detector that draws energy from condensation inside the system. Small, low-power devices could run indefinitely, powered by nothing more than the environment around them. But let's not get carried away. As exciting as this is, there are real limitations. The power output, even at its best, is tiny. One volt sounds impressive, but the current is small. It's perfect for calculators, small sensors, or wearables, but nowhere near enough to charge a phone, let alone power a laptop or electric car. Performance also depends on evaporation. In very humid environments, where evaporation slows, the device produces less energy. Manufacturing consistency is another hurdle. Cutting and treating shells to precise dimensions in a scalable way is far from simple. And while chemical treatments improve performance, they can also reduce the structural stability of the shell over time. So while this breakthrough is fascinating, it's not a replacement for fossil fuels or solar panels, at least not yet. What's most exciting isn't that a walnut shell can run a calculator. It's that nature itself offers ready-made nano architectures that we can tap for energy. Walnuts are just the beginning. The same principles could be applied to other biomaterials, from coconut shells to wood, or even engineered plant-based composites. Researchers are already exploring sweat-powered wearables, water leak detection systems, and smart IoT networks that might one day run entirely on hydrovoltaic energy. This won't replace high-power sources, but it could eliminate the need for them in millions of tiny devices. That's the vision this research opens up. So the next time you crack open a walnut, think twice. Hidden inside that shell is a natural machine, a piece of evolutionary engineering that could help power the next generation of green technology. So, what do you think? Is this just a quirky lab experiment or the first glimpse of a new sustainable energy revolution? Could nutshells, of all things, become part of our renewable future? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into a technology you've probably never heard of, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and share this video. Because sometimes the biggest innovations don't come from billion dollar factories or exotic materials. Sometimes they come from waste we throw away every single day. Thanks for watching and see you the next video.